We are at YEV's newly opened facility in San Bernardino, California. This trucking as a service center offers public charging for battery electric trucks and provides zero emission trucks for fleets to lease at a monthly price. You'll be hearing from YEV about how they are removing barriers for fleets that are adopting zero emission trucks and how they are making these vehicles accessible for fleets of all types. We typically build out in stages as the demand grows, but today we've got five megawatts of power going to 12 dual core 360 kilowatt chargers so we can charge 24 trucks at once. Any driver can come in while they're charging their trucks. They can go in, they can have food, they can have facilities, restrooms, and some of our customers who have their own fleet, they can come in and use these offices to dispatch their trucks from here instead of doing remotely. Very excited to have real infrastructure in the Inland Empire. I think this speeds up adoption of the technology. Other fleets that have a footprint in the market that are already operating with electric vehicles have an option now to make sure that they can run a full day. Now that wider EVs are building infrastructure, it makes it much easier for somebody to even uh, consider taking an EV truck. For uh, drivers to be able to have pinpoints to where to charge with wide EV is a big step forward. Obviously, I mean, we have a solution that caters to everyone, right? I mean, we can go to the shippers and show them how they can electrify their freight immediately without any upfront costs to them. Simply by having Watt EV, working closely with the shippers to identify which loads can be electrified right now and what it takes to electrify the future. And we could also now go to owner operators, get them into a truck, all inclusive on routes that we've tested on the capabilities of the trucks that we now know and allow them to really get into operations in an electric truck without any of the unknowns or any of the upfront costs. So. What you see here is you have CCS chargers, which is the current generation of technology available in the market. And it's a future proof site for megawatt charging. We see MCS being crucial in order to get to long haul freight. So the trucks that exist today, they've got about a 250 mile range, which is perfect for middle mile and drayage operation, but it takes two to three hours to charge. So with backup charging, if I reduce the dwell time now to about 30 minutes, a trucker can show up with an MCS capable truck, fuel up and be on the route. The opening in Bakersfield is really important because that provides an opportunity for our service area to open up into the Central Valley. We have all of Southern California covered uh, and puts us in a situation where it's really a practical transportation solution for this market. Long Beach is one and a half acres. This site, San Bernardino is four acres. Bakersfield is 115 acres. So we have 16 dual cord chargers there, similar to the ones that we have here, all on PG&E's power. And then we have another set of chargers, which is our own second generation product on solar and battery storage. So this allows us to test different capabilities because for sure, you're gonna come across sites where you are grid restricted and you can't get power fast enough. And deploying island operations, deploying distributed energy resources allows us to test new capabilities, new technologies, that Green Bee is becoming very well known because I've shown up to places and then they're just saying like, hey, I seen that truck. When they ask me questions and I let them know like our entire fleet's EV, we don't have a diesel truck here. It's EV or we don't do it. And we've been able to do it, but no hesitation. Most of the drivers that go electric don't want to go back to a diesel truck. It's a lot easier on their body, instant acceleration, torque. They're beautiful trucks. They drive very, very smooth, very peaceful, very quiet. Thinking in the long run, you know, for our future generations to come, I think it's very important. And if it starts with one truck a day, you know, I'm willing to take that route. You cannot do this alone. You have to have industry partners. You have to have sector partners. You have to have so many different parties, stakeholders get involved. CalSTAR has been a tremendous help for WADEV from the beginning. CalSTAR has been very helpful to us on the regulation side, the policy side, as well as on opening the doors to grant and governmental agencies. When you have knowledgeable people who are connected, who are sort of a glue between the, the government sector and the private sector and all the other stakeholders, that's what we need and that's what we get.